what is going on everybody so got a pretty bad uh got some pretty bad news about the lbz uh, not too excited about it the duramax is inoperable let me show you why um you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and drive it and show you guys what i'm talking about but uh, remember when i was showing you guys how to check for leaks on the turbo and all that you know uh just all the boots and everything to find out where the leaks are well i heard another hiss let me show you I did a video with using this little part right here but anyways i heard a hiss when i was driving and now i'm here now i'm smelling really bad exhaust coming through the cab it sounds absolutely horrible um it drives like complete crap i can't even really hardly build boost um it's not a turbo leak though okay so i'm gonna start it up so you guys can hear it and guys i'm pretty sure you can guess exactly what this is so i'm gonna set you down right here I'm gonna kind of rev it up a little bit, not too much. I don't wanna get too crazy. But I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to pick this up on the audio. Not entirely sure if you can hear that actually, but you kind of hear a tick, 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 tick. Not the injector, it's not the injector. Okay. Uh, it's an exhaust leak, guys, from the up pipe. So, not very happy. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and drive it a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit and then uh, obviously come up with a solution on you know what to do next. So, but not very happy. Well, all right, guys, so let's go ahead and take this thing on a test drive. And uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to pick up, so it's kind of like a tick, 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 and then uh, airy noise to it. So that's that's the noise that I'm getting. But what I did, I'm not gonna video it. It's kind of stupid. I'll just explain it. But what I ended up doing was, uh, you know, obviously it's cold here in Michigan right now, so the truck's gonna kick on high idle when it's cold. So what I did is I got under the hood, and then once the engine kicked on high idle, like I know. Uh, the exhaust is gonna be hot, but what I did, I put my hand behind that up pipe, and yeah, sure as heck, man, I felt just a lot of air coming from that point right there. You can feel it, there's a huge hole. So I really shouldn't be driving it around, but you know, guys, that's what happens when you upgrade uh, your engine, you know, it really does. And we all know that, so I'm just gonna, you know, just talk really quick. I mean, you know, guys, you know I did the WC Fab. You know I did, you know, the full EGR, um, you know, with the tuning and, you know, the increased power and whatnot, just air breathing or the engine breathing a whole lot better with induced air and whatnot. Eventually, stock parts are prone to failure. Uh, those up pipes have these very restrictive bends in these metal bellows, which I'll be showing you guys. So I need you guys to stay tuned and follow this, this, uh, this whole thing right here. So those bellows from uh, when I felt back there, I felt a hole in one of those bellows. So that's the that's that's it right there. So I need to go ahead and buy a new one. I need to buy a new uh, up pipe. I'm probably gonna go ahead and do the uh, passenger and driver side. So you guys leave in the comments what you think the best up pipes are, or should I just go cheap? I don't know. Kind of a tick, 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 and then sort of an airy noise at the very end. You guys, of it. tell me if you've been if you've been here in this in my in my shoes. You guys, let me know. Also, guys, I will be doing the giveaway for the light bar. I'm gonna uh, draw it, draw, draw it at random in, at the end of February. So uh, when I do mail time, actually, is when I do it. So if you guys feel compelled to send me a letter or something like that, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I left a PO box in the description below, just to kind of another way we can interact. Um, you don't have to send me anything like awesome or anything. It's cool. You can send me a letter. Uh, it kind of adds to the content at the end of the channel. Not, not only that, if you have an Instagram or a YouTube channel or whatever, and you want me to send a shout out really quick to you, man, by all means do it. So that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, I do mail times at the end of every month. But you know, uh, pretty bummed out. I'm not going to sit here and cry about it. Things happen, whatever. We'll get over it. But it, of course, costs money. So you know, whatever. But guys, I have a ton of stuff coming, man. I, you know, I, I don't like to spill the beans all the time about the truck, but. Um, this truck, I, I got a lot of parts coming in the mail here very shortly, so stay tuned for that. But uh, first time stopping in, subscribe. If 
you're a uh, newer subscriber, thanks for uh, coming to the channel. Welcome aboard. Um, also, Bertrand 850. Uh, this guy is very close to hitting 10,000 subscribers. So, guys, show some love. Subscribe to his channel and subscribe to the crew, man. JW Montoya, he's doing some pretty good stuff. And uh, Backroad Diesel. So, those, are, those guys are all my partners. We all sort of collaborate on YouTube. We all have the classic body style trucks. I know JW, you got the Sierra. So he's got a very beautiful truck, uh, lifted on 37s, all white. So subscribe to the channel, guys. But other than that, I appreciate your time. As always, you have a great day.